Hi everyone, Matt here from The Gravy Train, here today to share with you the new instalment of The Gravy Train's numismatic item of the month for the month of July. Today I have chosen the 1934 to 1935 centenary of Victoria, Melbourne, Australian Florin. Um, over the course of 1934 and 1935, the centenary of Victoria, Melbourne, Florin was released to commemorate the anniversary of the founding of Victoria from 1834 to 1934 and the establishment of Melbourne from 1835 to 1935. The coin's composition is 92.5% silver and 7.5% copper and features a horse with a rider on the reverse and the effigy of King Emperor George V on the obverse. Uh, originally, these coins were struck and sold as a souvenir, costing three shillings per coin. The coins were sold by the Melbourne Centenary Committee for three shillings to assist in covering the costs of the celebrations. The committee had an outlet in Melbourne CBD, uh, and eventually some were sold to various branches of the State Savings Bank of Victoria. Initially, 75,000 florins were minted. However, toward the end of 1935, most of the florins remained unsold and the Victorian department store Foy and Gibson purchased 30,000 uh, of these coins from the committee. The department store gave the centenary florins uh, away as, uh, as a part of customers' change and were given in Foy and Gibson bags. Uh, if a centenary florin comes with uh, its Foy and Gibson bag, it can certainly improve the value of the item. Although not common, there is also a centenary florin presentation box, uh, which has the inscription, the star, who will it be? The star newspaper held a competition at the time, and the box was given away with the coin as a prize. Again, if the centenary florin is sold with its box, with that presentation box, uh, it significantly increases the value of the coin. Uh, once the celebrations had concluded, 21,595 of the centenary florins were returned, returned to the Royal Mint in Melbourne, where they were melted. And of course, this resulted in a final mintage of 53,405, and also making it the lowest minted Australian florin. Uh, and of course, uh, here's an example here that has been uh, slabbed and graded by PCGS as an MS64. Uh, simply beautiful design. Uh, they have been known to be uh, uh, forged, so fakes created. So be sure to be very careful as to how to determine uh, whether one is genuine or not. Uh, of course, if you don't know how to determine that, uh, of course, please research it or at least uh, ensure that if you're buying this coin that you make this purchase from a reputable dealer. So here it is, the 1934-1935 centenary of Victoria, Melbourne, Australian Florin. Thank you for tuning in this month. We hope you enjoyed this instalment. Of course, please like the video. Please share it with amongst your friends. Um, and of course, um, subscribe to our channel just for a bit of fun and of course to see further in future instalments of the numismatic item of the month. And just remembering we have our Facebook group, The Gravy Train, look us up, where we of course share a lot of uh, wonderful things about numismatics, all types of numismatic items, banknotes, coins, not necessarily Australian, but also around the world, ancients, hammered coins. So please come in and join the fun. Of course, we have uh, eight amazing sponsors, seven of whom uh, we have regular competitions uh, with on the gravy train. So you can pick up some incredible prizes as well. So thanks for tuning in. We hope to see you on the gravy train. Take care of yourselves and hope to see you online soon. Bye.